Bringing, we're now importing a European Audio Team, or EAT, a line of turntables and uh, components. The valves are the tubes we're not bringing in, those are still being distributed from Roy. Right. Um, so we're just doing the components. Right. Um, in the case of the E-flat, we're now offering the tone arm separately, um, allowing for a complete exchange of the tone arm for a mono configuration with just the uh, unscrewing uh, of the cable housing and the anti-scape, changing out the arm as we have here, um, we're showing for the stereo per arm. And so it's it's how much does it cost for the extra arm? Eight fifty. Eight fifty. So for eight fifty dollars, you you have you can have a separate mono cartridge or swap out cartridges. Complete with counterweight and everything. So it's ready to roll. Swap. Exactly. Yeah. Should we take the dust cover off? Yeah. And so what is this turntable going to sell for? Sixty-five hundred with the one arm. Uh huh. I know where you're pricing it. I know where you're going. What you're going after. Very heavy cast alloy platter. Um, it's a dual motor design with a single belt, all built into the plinth. With um, being a fixed design, just level it, you're done. But it has a bit of an advantage, uh, similar to a, a uh, suspended table for room isolation. In the feet are opposing magnets, right. so the feet themselves are floating. So right. you get um, some pretty nice isolation from the room um, while not having to adjust the suspension. It's a beautiful, you know, it's a beautiful elegant turntable that that's you know I, i'm thinking of my sister who wants to get a turntable she's a beautiful apartment mm -hmm. and you know stick a clunky turntable on top of her sure. but this, not that she's not that she's going to spend this kind of money but she's cheap she's cheap and then this one this is okay. massive and this is this is the forte s uh the forte s is built around a 35 pound platter um, to reduce the friction on the bearing, uh, they are using a series of opposing magnets in the base and right. the platter, so the effective mass on the bearing is much lighter. Right. So that's still that's what my turntable does. Right. You still have mechanical grounding, though. It's not cool. Yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not floating. Exactly. It's a, that's a bad idea. Yeah, so you still have the area for energy to just kind of see the bearing. Of course, you don't have the problem. 35 pounds puts so much pressure on a bearing that while you may have to get better rotational uh, based on mass, rotational right. speed, you have higher noise floor right. the and your thrust pad is going to press is going to wear out everything so. it is a dual motor design with a dual belt or two belts with right motor versus, uh, the dual motors with a single belt and it has a uh, project arm on steroids correct that's the evo 12 which is their best tone arm right we can uh, bring the table in with this arm it's 8500 in the Mikasa. Um without arm the arms a thousand dollars and we can get virtually any arm uh, mount. So you can buy it without the arm for how much? Uh, 75 okay. That's a very good price, and it's also beautiful in its own way. Not it has like similar um, feature in that it is a fixed design allowing for no confusing suspensions to work with it. We'll right. also go out of adjustment, but we are using large opposing magnet feet right. to do uh, a monocle room in isolation. In some cases, we'll still need an isolation plan. So this is a world of, this is another EAT turntable? Yes. Technically, they did an introduction at the Vienna show um, in November, but as you know, the Vienna over is about the size of a large stores show. Right, I've never been so there. So this is the, the, the debut of the new C Sharp. Um, it is using conventional feet opposed to the opposing magnets. I'm right. um, leveling through three feet here with a sub chassis. Is this it, carbon fiber? It's carbon fiber with a uh, MDF. It's in, of course, high gloss right. painted. A large cast aluminum platter, but like all of the EAT platters, the top section is made of recycled vinyl. Right. And they're bonded together. I hope they're not using uh, collectible records. I hope so too. Uh, I assume they know better. I, I think I think they do. Yes. Um, brand new tonar. Um, to uh, it, it's sort of a hybrid between a, a conventional race and a unipivot. Um, we apply pressure on the bearing race through this pin. And so it gives a single point energy transfer. Is that the actual point? Yeah. yeah. And so it screws down. In transport, we take it out. Well, yeah, hopefully. Um, and then when we're. Except for the reviewers, they forget to take it out. We, did. Did. we know that. Uh, so, brand new tone arm. We need to get and bond it for using uh, heavier, lower compliance cartridges. Uh, so, it's a unipiv, but it doesn't feel. There's no. Correct, because there's a fixed bearing structure, so it's sort of in between both. Right. Okay. Feels nice. Mm -hmm. um, use a conventional five-pin in the back, so we can use any cable. Of course, it comes with a cable. Oh, so it's five. 
Oh, in the engine. back. That's good. Oh, that's good. That's a really, convenient. Really nice solution, and yep. it's the first deck in the AT line with an external control unit, ah. which also uses a five pin den. Well, that's nice. It's nice to have it external as opposed to putting it right under here. Correct. <laughs> that exactly. Yeah, exactly. That was one of their better ideas. Um, price, we're, we're doing it in two ways. Um, uh, what I think is going to be the most popular is, as you're seeing it here, where we're supplying it already with a Quintet Black mounted. Oh. As you know, it's a thousand dollar cartridge. Right. Um, the table's four thousand no cartridge, or with the black already mounted forty five hundred. Wow. Which makes it, I think, pretty compelling. Package. Yeah, that's compelling. I'll, I'll, I need to review this. There's a couple that's here. Right. Yeah, this is this one. I'm I'm really excited about. I think this is this is. It's really reaching into the elegant side of things for people who want to have something that show in, in an apartment that shows it doesn't look mm -hmm. okay. beautiful. And, you know, I read your review on the black just when I was auditioning. The I was comparing the black and the bronze. Yeah. And I put the black on, um, and it's on another table. This wasn't yeah. Yeah. Um, preparing for this. I put the black on as two bars. That decision was made. And well, then I read your review and went, okay, it's this I'm not alone. No, it's the Shibata style. Yeah, the Shibata style is yeah. just digs out so much more information. Yes. Okay, so this is this is the, um, the e glow from EAT, also made in Europe, as all of their products are. Um, it's based on a pair of 12 AX7s and a 6922 per channel. Um, each of the the valves has the EAT um, cool dampers on them. Um, as you can see, it's a tremendous amount of loading. There are two different gain structures: uh, moving magnet, moving coil, uh, adjustable. Now, it, it's, it, it's, does it tell you what you, it sh oh, it shows it here. Right here. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah it shows it right there. That's, that, it's another beautiful looking thing. Mm -hmm. and that's the power supply. And that's it. the external power and supply. And this costs how much? Uh, 8500 um, What's brand new from Chris, I, I, in fact, this is the deck we're sending you when you're ready. Oh, okay. Um, this power supply, he j this is the prototype. Um, this is called the Clean CBPS. It has two battery banks. Using a microprocessor, it goes between the two, both monitoring that you never overcharge so the batteries right. don't wear out, but also maintaining the table never going to AC. So it's always battery. It ends up coming off of battery. Right. Um, so you have a complete severing of the roll. Okay, so, um, so this is the this is the, the Fikert Analog Firebird, and it, this sells for how much? Uh, the table by itself is thirteen five. Okay. And then of course the Axiom. This is the Axiom arm. Yeah. Which is uh, twenty-two five. Okay. Which I hope I get at some point to review. We're trying. Be good. <laughs> Be good. Uh, okay. And then we're using the Archon cartridge 